The machine standing next to me needs no introduction. Of course, we're talking about the Epson F2270. My name is Stephen with All American Print Supply, and if you're ready to get started printing direct to garment or direct to film with this new machine, be sure to stay tuned. And we noticed during our unboxing, we got our first print going, there were slight misalignments. And if you notice this, when you get your machine set up, there's nothing wrong with the printer. It just needs a head alignment. This is gonna be a crucial step to perform once you get your machine out of the box, inked up before you dive into production. And if you have any questions on any of the steps we go over in today's video, you can go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. My name is Esteban, let's get rock and rolling. Now when it comes to DTG or DTF, we're gonna want solid alignment of our CMYK and white ink layers. Now this should be performed before your initial operation or any time the machine is transported location to location. During transit, the machine may encounter bumps along the way, so to ensure that your prints come out nice and crisp with perfect alignment of these layers, a head alignment is what we're gonna do. Now to perform our print head alignment, we will need the machine powered on and charged full of ink. For today's testing, we will be printing our head alignment onto a sheet of DTF film. Now before production, we went ahead and cut a few pieces of our DTF platen grip strips and applied them in the middle of the platen. Now you gotta remember, because this is a two-pass machine, meaning it'll feed in for one layer of ink and then place the second layer on top, there could be a little movement. Now I have had successful prints come out without any sort of adhesive, but if you wanna make sure we're not wasting any film, any ink, or any time, the DTF platen grip strips will keep your film in position so you can get that perfect layer alignment, which is important for DTF. Now to perform our print head alignment, everything's gonna be done on screen on this 4.3 inch touch panel. Let's go ahead and start by pressing the menu button. And then we're gonna go down to media settings. And then we're gonna to go to print adjustments. And we're gonna to go to print head alignment. We're gonna do standard. And we're gonna begin with dark media. Let's go ahead and select this. And then once the data is received on the machine and press start, go ahead and print our alignment. All right, so now we have our printhead alignment and all of our current information. Let's go ahead and take a look at the screen over here. Now it's asking me on the printer to take a look at alignment 1A, and we're gonna choose the straightest line and enter that number value here. So as I look at print A1, I can see that the straightest line, it's gonna be right between, I'd say, a negative four and a negative two. It looks like negative four is the straightest. So because that's our most straight line, we're gonna go over here and enter negative four. And then we're gonna move on to alignment A, B. Now here, we're gonna perform the same steps. So we're looking for the straightest line with no discrepancies on this one. I am also seeing it's between negative four and negative six. We're gonna go ahead with negative four for this also, just because it wavers a little less than negative six. So we'll go ahead and enter negative four on screen. We're gonna move on to alignment 2A. Same process here. Again, we're looking for the straightest lines. You will see there's some duplicates here, but upon examination on this one, I am seeing it's between negative four and negative three. I'm gonna go with negative three for this one, just cause I see a little waver in negative four. So we're gonna enter that value here, negative three. And let's move on to alignment 2B, which will be our final alignment. Same thing, as we can see, they start off pretty duplicate. And as we proceed down, this one appears to be negative five. That's gonna be for check 2B. So we're gonna go ahead and enter that on screen here. Negative five, we're gonna press okay. So here we have a review of all the adjustments that we've made as far as letting the machine know what was the most straight line on our dark media head alignment. Go ahead and press okay. Now, based on our calculations of what the printer produced on our film and our adjustments we entered here, it's gonna go ahead and fine tune that alignment. Let's go ahead and run one more to make sure that all the settings are correct now. So after we've entered all of our adjustments on the full color touchscreen, the machine will calibrate accordingly to make sure that we're trying to get that straightest line dead center on all four of the checks. Now to confirm that our settings were well received, we're gonna go ahead and print one more for dark media. I'm just gonna place this film again right here, nice and centered, using our platen grip strips to keep everything nice and stationary. Let's go ahead and print dark media. Head alignment, press start. Okay. 
Now while the head alignment process may take multiple prints to get correctly, it looks like all of our adjustments that we entered on the machine produce a perfect alignment. Again, what we're looking at for it is try to see the straightest line at number value zero. And we wanna see this on all four of our different checks. So based on the calculation we entered on the machine, the zero line is gonna be the straightest and most solid out of the entire checks. Let's go ahead and enter those corresponding number values on the machine to let the printer know we're aligned. Alignment 1A, zero was the straightest line. Let's move along here. Alignment 1B, same thing, that center zero line was the most straight. 2A, same thing, confirm. And lastly, 2B. Again, we wanna make sure that middle line, number value zero, is the straightest and most solid on all four of our checks. Here's a review of our settings. Let's press OK. Our printed alignment is complete. Charges are reflected on the next time we've printed. Let's go ahead and move to light media. Let's go ahead and get that light media head alignment registered. Again, we're placing our DTF film right on top of our platen grip strips. Let's throw it to the monitor. And we're gonna go ahead and press menu. We're gonna go to media settings. We're gonna go to print adjustments. Print head alignment. Standard. And now we're gonna perform the light media print head alignment. Let's go ahead and hit start. When the data is received on the machine, it's time to align. Now, just like with our dark media head alignment, we're trying to see which one of the lines is the most solid. So as I look at print check A1, I can see that the zero line is definitely the straightest and most solid line. So let's go ahead and enter that on screen. Now we're gonna take a look at alignment 1B. Now as we review these lines here, zero again is gonna be our most solid line. Let's go ahead and enter that on the screen. Now let's check alignment 2A. Now upon review for check 2A, it appears negative one is gonna be this most solid or straightest line. Let's go ahead and enter that on screen. Negative one. And now let's check alignment check 2B. As we look at these lines here, it looks like zero is gonna be the straightest and most solid line, so let's confirm. We can review our settings here we've entered. Press OK. And now the machine will align based on the coordinates we've entered. Now to make sure that they were all refracted properly, let's go ahead and print one more. We threw a fresh sheet of DTF film on our platen grip shifts to get a nice clean check for our head alignment. Let's go ahead and print light media. We can go ahead and hit start. And once the data is received on the machine, Send that head alignment. Now, as we take a look at R4 of our alignment check prints, it's safe to say that the zero center line is the straightest and most solid on all four checks. This is what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and enter those number values on the screen. Zero, 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 and zero. We can review our settings here. The machine will calibrate accordingly. And we're done. Once you've achieved the desired number of values in the correct location, congratulations, you're ready to start printing. That wasn't too hard, right? For more information on this hybrid dual threat machine, go ahead and visit the description links down below. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. My name is Esteban, we're All-American Print Supply. The Epson F2270, available now at aprintsupplyco.com.